Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of 4 Minute Photo Feedback. Last time we did this, which was the very first episode, so give me a break, ran about 15 minutes. So all feedback's good feedback, but we're gonna try to get this under four. If not, we'll get it under eight. We'll work our way back to four. So in this episode, uh, Dom Gould has sent me some photos. Thanks, Dom. Uh, I don't know who the bands are, so we'll just jump straight into the feedback. Uh, so we've got some nice blues here. Um, we've obviously got a singer by the looks of it over here and a guitarist. Immediately, I think this needs a little bit more contrast. I think, you know, you've got um, some of the, the space here and also the space here. It almost like, you know, it doesn't have that that deeper blacks that really makes, you know, the background pop out a little bit more. So I think um, you need to sort of add a little bit of contrast. You can just do that through the whole thing and just increase the whole um, contrast. But what I would do is um, sort of like try to play with the light a little bit, you know, add a little bit around this side of the face, you know, make that a little bit darker. And then on this side of the hand here, I'd just make that a bit darker. Um, again, this sort of section here, that can stay the same, that's cool. Um, I think also, you know, this area here, you should probably crop that back you know, because it just doesn't really add anything to the photo. Um, similarly over here, I just noticed there's a little bit of a mic popping in. Um, I think context wise, it's like cool that you can see the singer, but I almost wish there was just a little bit more there so you could finish the leg and you could get the arm in that sort of appears there. Um, they're the sort of main things composition wise. Um, we obviously hit the contrast, which I mentioned, and that is the biggest thing about this photo that I think uh, you could improve for the next one. I think also if you see how it's like a little bit soft around this sort of area here, um, you know, that's where the energy is in that section. So you really want to maybe uh, increase the clarity around there so you get a little bit more depth and, and the specific contrast. I think if you sharpen this, because it's already pretty noisy in the background here, you won't actually, um, you know, get any of that detail back. It'll just become more noisy. So rather than running a noise filter over it, I would just um, look at that. Also, the blues here are really nice. Like you've got these lights here, which is nice context. But yeah, this whole like blue background um, and that arc that's there, as well, if you just sort of put a masking tool over all this blue, you would actually like, you know, get a little bit more color there. And then once you put the contrast and that together, um, you should be pretty sweet. So um, I like the energy there. Um, the only other thing is to just try get the neck, uh, get the full guitar in if you've already started tracing the neck. So that's number one. Number two, um, I like this one. I like um, sort of that there's nothing that's overexposed. Everything's pretty even. Like this area here is even. I look at this area, it's even. This detail, especially having a white door is even. Um, you know, even just the background here. Maybe if I was doing it, there isn't much I could sort of suggest for this. But if I was doing something like this, the kind of thing that I would do is maybe, you know, zoom in use your masking tool on like this section make sure you don't get any of her hair and just add some more green to that because um then you can sort of bring that foliage out a little bit same over here um and also maybe some contrast over there um all in all you know i think um this is a really nice one and so um not much i can add there maybe darken the roof rack um maybe slightly add just a little bit of temperature to her hair there. But like I said, um, that's pretty nice. Uh, final photo is another gig one. Um, the first thing I look at, and, and a lot of people make this mistake, so don't um, feel bad about it, is they don't look at what's in the background. So this guitar head over here, and also, it's just not like finished there. I'm kind of like wondering where the rest of it is. But I think if you had this arm in, 
and you you know you at least had that um it wouldn't feel like you're sort of trying to search for something more i guess uh but i definitely would take out that head there because when you start to sort of you know look at something and go oh hey there's a little bit more there you want to know what it is so just eliminate it entirely um i think you could probably add a bit of clarity like it's pretty soft around the eyes there um everything just you know seems just a little bit sort of blurry around that area there um i'm sure it's not but once you add your clarity it'll really help define it like that um i think also it could use a bit of saturation around sort of this section here just increase that saturation a little bit um not too much and if you need a little bit more sort of um you know warmth you could probably increase the warmth of that section more than you would um on the rest of the shirt so you might want to do a mask of some warmth there and then do a mask of this section which is your second section do a mask of that section there um, and warm that up similarly i would increase the uh increase the saturation of this section so bring the sat up on that um, this section here is good so i would use that reference for your saturation point and i wouldn't um i wouldn't increase anything there but i'd try to match this section which is your number two with your number one section so they kind of look um equal i'd also maybe bring maybe bring the the clarity just a little bit there so we can see the side of the guitar um and also this section here just bring the exposure down um i like that there's some roof space there too by the way um that's cool because it gives like the height of the roof is an important sort of thing to show off the venue maybe um these sections these red lights here uh you could either remove them or you could accentuate them by just adding um just a little bit of warmth to that section there that says warmth cool i like that one though nice work dude so the fourth one, as we do, is a photo that I've taken. And so uh, this was Fallout Boy the other night. Um, if I did this again, because I don't like editing things a second time, I would take that light out. That needs to go. This light out needs to go. Um, maybe even that one there. Just so it keeps the roof a little bit more consistent. Clean up that, 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 that. I did a really poor job of this roof by the by the vibe that I'm getting. So I take all those bits out. Just get rid of them. Um, and then over here looks all right. I would keep this, this sort of stuff here. Um, that's fine. Um, this section here... You know, with fireworks, they're going to be overexposed. Um, there's not a lot you can do about that. But I think if I've got the um, the fireworks looking like that over here, this would be my preference. And this section here, that would need to be, you know, that would need to match. So, um, you know it's looking fine around his like i probably would have increased the exposure or increased the blacks a little bit there so i get a little bit of pattern on his his pants because up here you can sort of see these wrinkles uh and creases on his shirt you can see sort of the stitches and the lines and so i've set that standard up the top and i should have followed through on the pants below um maybe a little bit of saturation there could have gone up um, and a little bit of exposure pulled down there. Um, the face is looking pretty good. There's nothing you can do about this shadow, so that would be fine. Uh, maybe increase the saturation around that side of his face or a little bit more of the contrast around that. Uh, and also with this section over here, even though the drummer has an okay context there in, in the wider photo, I really think if I just took one step this way, it would have really helped, um, you know, take him out of the photo because it doesn't have the same power as the singer does. 
And so that way, these uh, sections here, they would really um, sort of go behind him a little bit, which would be fine. It's kind of better than having the drummer there. So that's the feedback for this week. Um, thanks so much, Dom, for sending those in. I hope the feedback on mine was also really helpful. Uh, but if you have photos, check the description in the video below and you can submit your own photos and maybe you'll see them on a four minute photo feedback in the future. Keep shooting guys.